Aston for me was a cathedral of a motorbike. Aston's always been a special place. It's one of the, the few real you know, Grand Prix tracks on the calendar. Of course, it's a special track. Have a lot of history, a lot of great uh, legends have, have won there. I hated Aston. Yeah, I hated Aston. I, I always had trouble at Aston. You had to be very precise. And that was the old generation that could do good at Aston. I was from the new generation that wanted more aggressive. More aggressive just made you slower at Aston. I remember um, going there and just thinking what a difficult track it was to learn. The last lap of the race, battling with Wayne Rainey in 1991, uh, you know, it was a pretty special lap, uh, knowing that the guy that I was chasing was, had gone faster, all except the, the last corner of the race. I have some, you know, clear bad memories of, um, of Assen, especially with the doctors up there when they wanted to chop my leg off and again going back to Costa, you know, him coming and, and retrieving me from that hospital and taking me back to, uh, to Italy to, to one, save my life and then save my leg. But uh, I love the people and I like the town and I, you know, so I enjoyed all that, but I just, you know, it, it just, it was, it was very frustrating for me to go to that place and wonder why I couldn't really gel with the place. 92, I was fighting the, with uh, Kevin Swan, Eddie Lawson. They were just in front of me and they crashed. And then uh, I was fighting the race with uh, John Kosinski, Alex Barros, Van Garriga. And I fight until the last uh, corner in the chicane. I passed there John Kosinski and I won the, the race. It was a lovely race. I won there my first ever GP in 1 to 5. Super excited when, when you can achieve uh, such a big goal and I was, I was crying uh, in, the, in, the, in the lab coming into the podium and then when I met my family there and the team, uh, it was something I couldn't believe at the time. I was on the podium with a good friend of mine, Ben Spees, when he, he took his first victory to beat me. And then the next year, um, I had a big crash in, in practice. Um, you know, it was looking difficult for the race. Uh, we managed to get pole position and, and make a really good race to take a victory in my last years. It just happened once in, in a lifetime and never happened to any, any rider apart from me. Has been declared fit to race. And all credit to Jorge Lorenzo. What a brave ride from the world champion. I feel very proud because it was not easy to finish in such a high level in fifth position after 30 hours of the operation in the, the collar one. So it was a magical day that I will remember forever and I will, I will tell my grandsons. For me to get my first victory at somewhere where there's so much racing history, it's, uh, it was also very nice and it was the first race on a Sunday, so that was pretty cool, but also, you know, you think about everything else, about how much this will affect your life, you know, and, uh, and it's, it's definitely a cool moment, that's for sure.